So we are with Robert Greitman, normally known as Cagney. You are going into one of the most iconic musicals ever written, from what I'm looking at. Who are you playing in it? I play the Duke of Wesselton, sort of the funny bad guy. Um, loving it. We had seven weeks of a run in Denver to try it out. It is a gorgeous show and I'm having a blast in my part. For those who don't know what show this is, can you tell oh, us? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's a little, it's based on an obscure film. I hope people, um, I hope I hope it catches on. It's called Frozen. Um, no, it's, it's really cool. Now, you were gonna go into King Kong. What's happening with that? I did a couple workshops of King Kong, that is correct. Um, but I am not, I'm uh, booked up, so uh, very excited about I have been I looking landed. forward to King Kong have since you? it was in Australia. Well, that, it's uh, the, the, I don't know how the script and the score has developed since I was doing workshops of it, but they showed us a lot of footage of the, um, of King Kong from uh -huh. Australia. And it is going to blow people's minds. Absolutely. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Now, what's going on with Cagney? Lots of good things percolating. We just had a, a, a sort of a mini run in Los Angeles. We did a month in LA, at, uh, in North Hollywood at the El Portal Theater. And it was a big hit for them, which was very exciting. So it carried on the momentum we had from New York. And there are things percolating, tour things and other... Film things? Uh, those are... Those were definitely discussed, and lots of people came to see the show in LA. So we're, let's just say, we've recalibrated our goals, and there's lots of exciting things still coming. Well, when I was little, I remember George M. being done on TV. So right, I can oh, see on this. TV? You mean not the not the movie that Cagney did? No, on TV with Joel Gray and Bernadette Peters. Oh, they, they filmed the Broadway. Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that definitely could happen. So I could see this happening to that. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your show at Feinstein's 54. Very excited about it. Um, what is it about? So I'm calling it Holiday Happy, and I've always wanted to, uh, well, Christmas jazz is my favorite kind of music, let's just say that. So there's going to be a lot of that. I have a trio. Matt Perry is my musical director, who is nice. my director of Cagney, but also is a, is a wicked jazz guy. So we're going to have a lot of fun doing that. Um, and really what I, I'm trying to do in this show is celebrate the themes of the holidays when it's at its best. And I've sort of chosen songs to illustrate those themes and tie them together. I'm doing, I've written an opening number oh, nice. um, and a couple other original songs. Uh, and I'm using a couple songs of some friends who are composers that people won't have heard. And then Matt and I have put sort of our own twist on some of the great Christmas classics, which I've been singing in my living room for years, but never in public. And so I'm extremely excited. And of course, Got to bring the tap shoes. And um, when are you playing? Yeah. I play here this Thursday night, February. Oh, February. It's not Valentine's. <laughs> December fourteenth at seven p.m. I'll do the Valentine's show next time. And if you had to choose your favorite Christmas song, what would it be? Wow, that is a tough one. But I like so many of them. I think. Right now, my favorite is I'll Be Home for Christmas. I think it's so beautiful. I think that the melody, the sentiment, it's got just a tinge of, you know, longing in it, but it's so beautiful and reminiscent. And for me, so many times I've been working here in New York and not able to go all the way home to Canada for Christmas. Um, it's, it, uh, that's when I really like singing. Now, I think that songs are the windows to people's souls. If you had to choose a song or a song cycle that describes who you are, what would that be? Accentuate the positive, followed by uh, Always look on the bright side of life. Da -da. That's uh, that's sort of how I, uh, I'm lucky because my mom and dad were very positive people and I, for some reason that's in my DNA and it doesn't mean tough things don't happen in your life but that's how I want to go through the world. So those will be the two songs I pick off the top of my head. Amen. I yeah. believe in that. If you, what is your Christmas wish, New Year's or New Year's Eve wish for the world? For the world, wow. That's a big question. Um, well, as one of the themes I talk, I'm going to talk about on Thursday night, I think that, uh, what is my Christmas wish for the world? I think more, I'll say it two ways. The, of course, the Uber one is love, you know? We just need more of that, and that sounds cliche, but it is a true statement. And under, under that umbrella, I would say tolerance of people's differences and, um, that would be my wish, sort of, 
my universal wish to say, hey, we're all here, we're all going on this journey together, and let's find a way to accept everybody. And can you wish the readers at Times Square Chronicles a happy holidays? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's easy, because it's my favorite time of the year, so happy holidays, happy Hanukkah to those people who are celebrating that starting today, and Merry Christmas to everyone. <laughs>